My, oh my. Hey lovies, what the wretch is up fam? If you're new here, my name is Terry Ann or TA and I'm a Boston based lifestyle YouTuber. And I'm very happy right now because this is the third battery that I put in this camera to film this video. <laughs> so if it was not charged, I would have just gone and got Starbucks and came home and cleaned my apartment. But <laughs> it is fully charged, so we are doing this video. Um, so as you can see from the title of this video, I'm gonna do like a mini baby haul. If you don't know, if you haven't been watching, go back and watch some of these videos. I'll link them down below and I'll, I'll link a few up here. Um, but basically, I am pregnant. So watch me finding out I'm pregnant. I told my family and friends, so you can see that video as well. And we are having a girl. So you can go ahead and click to watch the gender reveal. Dude, I am so thrilled. Actually, I'm 15 weeks pregnant. As of yesterday, I turned 15 weeks. So here is a little look at the bump. 15 weeks preggers. The past like four or so days, I finally started feeling her move around. I felt like little pokes and I was just like, is this it? Like, is this, <laughs> is this like the little kicks? And then um, for whatever reason, at like two or three o'clock in the morning, I laid down in bed and I was feeling her move around. And I was like, this is for sure it. And I put my hand on my little tummy and I could feel the little movements, the little kicks against my hand and I woke Mike up. Um, this is yesterday morning actually. This Yesterday morning was the first time I could feel her against my hand. And I woke Mike up at like three o'clock in the morning and I said, like, you have to feel this. And he was able to feel it too. And it was just a really special moment. This is, it was just a really special moment for us to be laying in bed at like three o'clock in the morning, feeling our daughter move around. I'm gonna cry, stop. But I am so happy, I'm so emotional. With that being said, I am super excited to be having a baby. I am very excited to be having a girl. I would have been happy either way with a boy or a girl, but I was rooting for a girl. And um, I knew even growing up, first of all, that I always wanted to be a mom, but that if I got pregnant, I would have an unreal amount of support from my family and friends. And my mom and my sister are so excited. They are shopping like crazy for this girl. And I indulged. I started shopping for her. I'm done shopping now because she's already getting so many gifts. <laughs> it's insane. She has a lot of things coming in. And so I thought I would share this very super cute, very early on haul of little gifts that this little girl has already gotten from um, from us, from her grandma, from her from her aunt, and I thought it'd be cute to share it. I'm gonna show you two things first. Um, we have a name for her, but we are not sharing her name until she is born. But when I first got pregnant, um, Mike and I would go on walks around the neighborhood and in the park, and we just started seeing bunnies everywhere just like way more bunnies than normal we call her our little bunny um so bunny is just what i call her <laughs> and interestingly enough i had not told my sister-in-law this uh mike's brother's wife mike's brother's wife so mike's sister-in-law but my sister-in-law i didn't tell her that we called her bunny i didn't really tell anyone that we called her bunny um and the last time we saw her she gave us this little gift through through Bunny's uh, cousin, Lucas. Lucas gave her this little gift and it's a little bunny and it's the cutest thing in the world. I was just like, oh my God, like I didn't tell her even when they gave it to me cause you know, there was a lot going on, but I was just like, oh my God, a bunny for my bunny. And it's the cutest little thing, little plush white bunny. So very special. I think it'll be a really cute thing for her to have. And then I started doing a little registry and I did not register for a lot of blankets. So I saw a blanket on Pottery Barn that I really liked. And it was a bunny blanket. It was this bunny blanket actually. And it's a little pink bunny that's attached to this little pink blanket. And I wanted it, I was like, this is gonna be so cute because it's a bunny. And it was before I had even gotten this one actually. And, um, but it was all sold out. Um, and then my mom went and got some things for her and this was one of them and my, I didn't tell my mom <laughs> I didn't tell my mom that we called her bunny and I didn't tell my mom that I wanted this either 
and I got it and then coincidentally enough these two bunnies are the same exact brand it's like jelly cat is what it's called so um, it was kind of just perfect I don't even know it was it just ended up being really perfect for her she's bunny these are her little bunnies it worked out um, so these two things made me really happy while I was scrolling on Instagram I got an ad for these cute little pink sandals like little slides and I bought them with a whole bunch of other things but these are just so adorable I got these from old I got these from the Gap not Old Navy these are from the Gap so yes these are so freaking adorable I can't even wait to see your little feet in these <laughs> they're just cute I think everything is cute baby size this is super cute this is a corduroy onesie get up I'm just pretty much in love with all the little details here the collar is everything the piping detail around the sleeves and the collar it's just so cute to me the fact that it's corduroy is everything I love like the button details in the back and yeah it's just a cute little onesie thing that I thought that she could wear later on in the year she's due in March so just like I think closer to like the fall time she should be able to fit in this this I think I got from Nordstrom and it is a seven for all mankind little onesie it's so cute I like the little bow details on the little uh, straps and it's like crinkly here and has her little little dress and a built-in like bloomers to cover her little diapers so this is for the summer and of course it comes with a matching little headband the pattern is is it gingham is the pattern so it's a very peachy color so this is for her first summer these are super special because when I found out I was pregnant we told my parents and we told Mike's parents and Mike's mom got us immediately before we even knew the gender I was like three weeks pregnant got us gifts one if it was a girl and one if it was a boy so the boy was like little socks these cute little socks um, and then they matched what socks that went for Mike so they would have matching socks if it was a girl we got these little these little cute bibs these aren't like regular styled bibs I like these these are like the handkerchief bibs um, and they're like terry cloth so they're nice and washable so these nice little floral bibs from Mike's mom they're so adorable I'm obsessed with them and then they came with these little <laughs> so cute that's my phone. These little cute little headband bows. Like, oh my god. I just try, I keep imagining this child with these huge bows on and my heart. I literally die. Um, and then this cute one that's like a rose. My, my baby is gonna be the cutest baby ever. I don't, I don't have words. Um, okay, so this is another thing that I got. I think this is also, this is definitely from Neiman Marcus. This is a Ralph Lauren um, little dress onesie. It is a onesie. Is it just a dress? Oh, you know, it's a dress. It's just a dress, but it comes with matching bloomers. So this is a Ralph Lauren um, dress. It has like the little polo sign all over it in different colors and at the bottom it's like just little frills and I just think it's cute that she has like a structured collar like you gonna work girl where are you, where are you going you have an internship babe and this is from the Gap it's a matching set as you can see just a cute little lavender top it's my favorite color and like matching bloomers and as you can see a little matching headband bow I just love the color and then like the little puffed sleeve on her like that's gonna be just so 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 cute so I'm super excited about this now these three things my mom bought and shipped to me and when I tell you I die like I, I literally die so this I think she got these all at Nordstrom and this is funny because my friend was like you need to get your daughter this 
uh, clothes from this brand called Ruffle Bottom. And then literally the same day, I get this package and I sent my friend pictures of all the stuff and she's like, that one looks like it's from Ruffle Bottom. And I look at the tag and, oh, it's called Ruffle Butts. And I look at the tag and it, it's Ruffle Butts. And I was like, what a freaking coincidence. So this is it. It's a cute little pink onesie, frill straps, and the back, it's like, it's kind of like a jumper, like a, is that what we call it in America? Jumper? What do you guys call that? Overalls. <laughs> Overalls? Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I'm Jamaican. Even though I was raised in America, I say things that my parents say and I don't know sometimes if that's what's said here. And it's usually confusing. So I think I just got totally confused. Anyways, so it's kind of like a little onesie overall romper type situation. Um, super cute open in the back. I feel like if it was a super hot day, I wouldn't even put anything underneath it and just have her little fat back out. And then <laughs> the butts, it's ruffly, just like the name of the company, Ruffle Butts. So they're cute little ruffles on the little butt area and it's just so cute. And the detailing here is like, I don't even know, but they're like cute little stitches and polkas and I think it's just an adorable outfit. These two things, these two next things, are probably my favorite things that my daughter will own, like at least so far. Um, my mom got her these as well, and I think they're also from Nordstrom, and they are so vintage looking. Um, they remind me of like the 70s in Jamaica. I'm not from the 70s in Jamaica, but I've seen pictures of my sisters and stuff like that, and it's just giving me those vibes, so. This is just the cutest thing. So this is a top. It's like off the shoulder kind of, you know, um, and it's just a very simple top with this like floral embroidery in the corner there. It's just so cute. And then it has this like lace detail around the collar and at the bottom. And it goes with these matching shorts like are you kidding me is this a joke are you is that a joke like these are so cute and they are just so vintage but wait it comes with a matching hat i don't know i don't know you guys baby clothes baby girl clothes it's too much actually and I don't know if it's just because I'm pregnant and I'm hormonal, but sometimes I see the baby clothes and how small they are and I just start to cry. That's where I'm at emotionally, you know, so. Now this, this one is really too much. Here's the thing, I would have never bought those myself. Like I would have never gotten them and been like, or seen them online and been like, yeah, put it in the cart. But when I got them, I was like, this is honestly the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and that goes for this. I would have never thought to get her something with ice cream cones on it. But this, this outfit. Are you joking me? Are you joking? <laughs> like, what? It's like a little jumper dress. Like, with chi- What? I mean, she- She's a kid. She's like a real kid in this one. Like, this gives me like my girl vibes. This gives me like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen videotapes. Do you remember when they had those little videotapes? These are the vibes. Like I am, I am beside myself really. The brand, I wonder if they're the same brand. No, so this brand is called Bowden and my mom got it at Nordstrom. I'm gonna have to look up this brand and see like what other cute things they have. And then the other brand that's like vintage-y is called, it's called Little Me. And she also got these, Little Me Couture. Um, and she also got these at, at Nordstrom. So, uh, obsessed, obsessed with those. There's this cute little tie-dye onesie that I got her from The Gap as well, yeah from The Gap, 
and it says daddy i wanted her to have something that shouted out her father which is my husband <laughs> a cute little frilly sleeves there very simple but i thought it would be cute and mike loved it he loved that she had something that said daddy in a heart i'm not gonna cry I also got this from, I think, North. No, oh, no, I think I got this from Neiman Marcus, actually. It is a cute little summer onesie. This is a cute little pineapple onesie with this cute little detailing around the collar. Adorable. Um, this is super adorable. I definitely got this from Nordstrom. This is Jessica Simpson. Um, this is a little striped blue and white and metallic tank top with little bow details. And as you can see, there's like metallic threading in here. And I like the bottom of this top has this little crochet detail and it comes with matching shorts, which are so adorable. And I have a little bow. These are also from The Gap. A cute little tie dye tank top with a little bow detail at the top and it comes with matching bloomers just something super simple for the summer hopefully COVID is over but either way we'll be taking her outside in parks and things like that um this is just the onesie that we got to announce her birth i got this from amazon yeah i just got this on amazon so this is also from the gap and i just got it because i got something for mike that said daddy so i saw this like little long sleeve onesie and it just says love my mama that's me. So adorable. Very simple. I figure she can't be super cute all the time. She has to have like some simple things. This is for later on when she's a bit bigger. Um, and yeah, this is a onesie for her to sleep in. Um, tie dye pink and white. It's a zippered onesie. I always hear people say, oh, it comes with like a little matching hat. Um, I always hear people say that um, you don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night with a baby and buttoning and unbuttoning their onesie. So you should just get the zipper so once you change a diaper or anything in the middle of the night and you're like sleep deprived, all you have to do is get them in it and zip it right up. You don't have to be like aligning buttons, which sounds like a real mom hack. So I paid attention to that and I, all of the onesies and stuff that she has for sleep will be the zipper because I'm not gonna struggle. I got her another Jessica Simpson onesie. It's really colorful. All of the straps have like bow details, but this one is really big and chunky, which is super cute. It's kind of like a rainbow onesie, stretchy up top, little frill at the waist, super cute. And it comes with a matching little headband. So then there were these cute little onesies from The Gap as well. And I just thought they were so cute. Maybe you could like layer them under something, but they, they these have like this cute little schoolgirl collar or it's called a Peter Pan collar. I'm not sure, but it's like the rounded collar. And it's just a simple onesie, kind of like t-shirt material ribbed um, and then buttons in the back. Very simple, but like adorable with this detail. And this is the same thing, just a different pattern. Little rounded collar onesie, striped jersey material. Same with the buttons in the back. And yeah, you could just probably like layer this, put her in little tights and this, and it looks like a cute little outfit, even though it's very simple. And again, same thing, only jersey material and polka dot this time. Same rounded collar that I like. And yeah, again, very simple, can be paired with some leggings and look kind of cute. And then this is the last thing I got her. This is also from The Gap? Yes, this is also from The Gap. And um, they were having a sale, that's why. It was like 50% off sale, so I went in. Um, this one's for the winter when she's a little bit older. Just a sweater dress, cable knit, little frills here at the shoulder. You know, love that knit design up front. So she can wear these with like little white stockings or something. It'll be super cute. 
And that is that. Actually, she just got something else. Her father is not here. Her father is in, he's in Florida right now for the last and final bachelorette of the year, you guys. Bachelorette for a bachelor party of the year. And um, he texted me because he got something for her. And I'll show you guys, he got her her first rattle. So he went shopping for like souvenirs and he saw this and thought of her. And it is this cute little rattle with a wooden handle and it's like a little rainbow crocheted thing. So he sent me a picture, called me and was just like, I got her something. We are saying her name a lot to each other because we know her name and it's like getting to know her and bonding with her by like calling her by her name. Um, so it's kind of hard to like not say it accidentally because I'm so used to saying it, but yeah. She has her first little rattle and dude, I'm just so excited. <laughs> if you want to see more videos about our journey, we're going to be moving homes and creating a nursery and starting like a whole new chapter of our lives then go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, and leave a comment below as to what you think your like favorite outfit or the cutest outfit was here. Um, I'd love to know. And also, if you're already a mom, leave any mom tips you have below in the comments, because um, I'd love to get any and all information and tips that I can get. All right, thanks guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> you <laughs>